Prosaic realism, the landscape of nowhere, common, mundane, uh, maybe even boring, um, but something that is is overlooked. And it's it's not in some ways it's not so much of it being overlooked. It's 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 being um, something else, a composition, a design, an abstraction, and a method of of depiction, which is straightforward and direct. I think I started consciously doing it a bunch of years ago when I started um, looking at the landscape or looking at some of the man-made things around around here, like bridges and, and uh, some of the railroad um, infrastructure, and looking at them not just as what they were, but as, as, a, as a way to arrange things, a way to compose a, a painting and uh, design it and to see the, um, the patterns of darks and lights, the patterns of colors, the shapes, and how those, um, how those shapes um, work together. And something that looked kind of cool. I really always enjoyed the light and the, the effect of the day, the time of the day, the place was, was intentionally um, depicted as it was. Um, I, I'm very direct in terms of the interpretation of the scene from what I see it from real life to uh, an image in paint um, that you know uh, what you're looking at. A directness, I think, a directness in, um, in your approach to the paint, to your approach to laying paint down, putting it down, whether you're using a knife or a brush or your fingers or whatever. And that intention needs to be there because without that intention, the intention is what you are. That, 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 that tells you what you're thinking about and tells you where the importance is. You do other things and you see, um, and the world is in front of you and it affords some fascinating sort of visual things and some beauty that you might not appreciate otherwise. And there in some ways lies the contradiction of um, the prosaic, prosaic realism in that you're, you know, I'm looking at something that is mundane every day, something you see when you're not going in, you know, in between going from place to place and it's like, you just pass by that. It's nothing. It's nowhere. It's the places of nowhere. 